we are finally, and I mean finally, gonna be beating Beyblade Burst Battle Zero for the Nintendo Switch. So, I was a little off on the game. I came back, I did actually a video doing a whole session against uh, Volt. Battle against Fi, showed off Evil Iga, did the final boss, which was Volt. And this is the secret final boss, because Volt's the final boss technically for Cho Z. Like the final one you gotta go up against. But Iga is like the final one. Sort of like, I guess, the secret final boss, the one that actually gives you the credits at the end. So we're finally gonna beat this game. And we actually unlock a lot, so I will be doing a lot of cuts in this video because I am gonna be trying to beat this 100%. So, what we're going to be doing is... Is it Achilles? No. Strike God Valkyrie. We're going to be using this one. So, what you have to do is just get really lucky and probably uh, get to Igo. So, this took forever to do. Legitimately, this took a few days. Not like I woke up from the morning and I tried to keep on doing it. But usually every day, I kept on trying to see if I could get him. Finally, finally I did it. So, I'm gonna, well, well, let's take a peek. Okay, so that was Iga right there. So this Iga, the only difference between that and the previous one is that his uh, Z Achilles has Extend Plus. So, he should activate his ability, uh, where he, like, he powers up and, like, his hair, like, uh, sort of like King, or, like, I guess you could say also, like, Dragon Ball, or, like, basically, like, a transformation. So, I'm gonna try to beat him as quickly as possible. Oh my gosh, he bursted me. Yeah, this is actually tougher than Vault. Double burst! It seems with this uh, Achilles, they actually added like a lot of armor to it, I guess? So, I'm trying my best right now, it's actually tough. Okay, so I guess a little tougher than I expected. I didn't think I would lose. Please, is he, is he, is he, if he's gonna disappear, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, I thought it was one of those things where like he only appears once, and if you lose some, you gotta do the whole process again. So, supposedly, I'm pretty sure if we either burst or we beat Iga, the next round he activates his little ability. 
And I'm not even joking, this is actually a little tough even for me. Because I have this bay maxed out and it has pretty good abilities, but even then... Yeah, see what I mean? Look at that. How? How did, how did he do that? How did he do that? Okay, because I couldn't activate my avatar ability, or my, I guess, blader ability, and I couldn't shake out of that. This, this is actually kind of tough. At first I thought, oh, it'll be a little hard maybe, but wow. His burst rates are, I guess, raised up a bit with his Achilles. I have to try to... It's gonna be tough. Did I do it? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? I clicked out of the stage and everything. Oh, man. Toughest boss in this game. I would switch it. I would. You wanna know what? Let's try it. Just once. Just once. Just once. Because I can probably actually beat Achilles if I use the winning Valkyrie. It's not like a secret hack or anything. Just... Shizetsu Lair should be stronger than the Strike God Lair. Okay, I I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can get this. Three, two, one. Let's see, I can, I can still get that. But... Oh, for sure. Okay, never mind. I was a little worried before. Okay, so now I should be able to beat Aiga pretty easily. Come on! No, he's gonna activate his ability, please. There we go! There we go! Alright, next round, he's gonna activate his little ability thing. Just act he just activated his full power. Did you see that? Oh, hey, I can use that Iga render now. I'll probably try to get the files from the game and get that. So do you see that now? Look, now he's actually in full power. I kind of wanted just to show that off because I thought I could probably beat him easily, but this is good. I'm actually excited. I have to activate my ability or else I'm going to die. Alright, come on Aiga, you're going down! Oh no, this is actually kind of tough now. It's full power. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. No, okay, now we're tied. We're tied right now. Okay. I can't lose to Aiga again. Not after I got out his full power. Three. Two, one. All right, that's it. Serious mode. Come on. Oh, he has that dodge thing. 
Okay, I have two that can go after him. I have two little abilities. Okay. Shake it. All right. Come on. Bruh, am I gonna lose? No, 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 I can't lose. I can't. I can't. I lost. I lost. Hold on. Hold on, man. Hold on. This is all one take. This actually. Okay. Now, now I'm actually gonna go 3,000%. Not 100, not 200, 3,000. So it seems when you burst him, the second round, he triggers up his ability, and then after he becomes a little bit harder, because before his Achilles is hard to even beat because the burst rates are up for it, but then after it seems the defense on the bay also increases. Okay, can we, I, uh, whenever I do this video, to anyone who's commenting or watching this, make sure to comment hashtag Zanky beat Achilles, and also make a hashtag Dark Eye in the comment section. Do this. Okay. So the secret is strike and retreat. So come on. Okay, that didn't work out. My abilities are slow because they do a lot of damage. Look. Okay, didn't break out his ability thing again. He almost burst. Ooh. This is actually, this is actually tough. Oh, this is gonna be a tricky battle. Three, two, one. After this, we should just get the credits. After that, I'll talk about my thoughts on the game and everything. Like, did I like the game? You know what I mean? We gotta go with our ability here, or else it's kind of pointless. Okay, um, if I don't attack him now. There we go. So using your ability, it like skyrockets your chance of winning in these matches. Okay. Come on. Come on. Three, two, one. Awesome. Try my best, because he's doing that dodging thing and I don't like it. He's like invading all my attacks. Okay, come on. That still did nothing. If I get does this, he's gonna burst me. Actually, I guess should activate his ability by now. I wonder what's taking him so long. Okay, I don't care anymore. I'm not letting him activate it. Unless it activates for him. Come on! Oh! We beat Aiga! We beat him! Oh, that's so dumb, but I love it. What happened was my bay is about to stop spinning. He hits my bay, and it's a burst. All right, the credits should roll now. Yeah, there we go. We unlocked full power Aiga. We finally just beat Aiga. I had my audio muted the whole time just because um, I didn't really want to um, get distracted too much. Wow. So Aiga activated his abilities and everything. This was such a tough final boss to beat. We beat Aiga, I'm so happy. So my thoughts in this game, I like it. I think it's a lot of fun to play, uh, not in long sessions, but in short sessions. An issue with this game is that I think there's, there's a little bit too limited content. The 3DS previous predecessor had more coloring option with the base, had a little bit of story with it. This one, it's fine, and the bays are a lot of fun. I feel maybe also they could have um, added the animations of the avatar when you're battling. I don't know, I feel like that would have been like a nice feature. The selection of leaders is fine. There could have been a lot more bays, and I wish they'd actually had like a Musou challenge too. 
because they had um, the Eclipse Bays, but they didn't actually have uh, like the actual challenge itself. And then they didn't have Earl, which I'm not too sure if they added Earl last minute when they were developing uh, the game they didn't uh, see, or they just, they just didn't want to. Is this game worth a por purchase? Purchase. Purchase? Uh, I would say if you find it for a good deal, you can get the this uh, game. But if it's at a full price, I'm not too sure. Out of 10, if this is just a Beyblade game, uh, I would give it maybe 7. If it's just a game in general, from what you actually do, it's like maybe like a six and a half, six, depends on how you look at it. It's not really, it's not that great, but uh, it's a lot of fun. If they had a lot more options for you to do, then I have a reason to go back and play. But after you like, you unlock everything, you know, it's kind of meh. I do like also how in the end, you see all the renders of the characters fly through and they're all happy. I love that. Kabuki, I'm not skipping through this. I don't know, I'm gonna be talking through this. Uh, Ranjiro. Fies there and everything. Vice Leopard. Oh, I just got an order by the release. That's weird. Okay. So, yeah. Is there anything else? Is there like a secret? Is there another secret boss or no? I'm pretty sure it was just Daiga. Freeze there. Probably they're going in order by appearance. Heart. Heart should be the final one then. Oh, and then the full power happy Aiga. Thank you for playing. Aw. Oh, isn't that nice? We should have actually unlocked uh, Amaterios, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Yeah, yes, yes, yes! Alright, let's go. We get... Ooh, 10,000 points. Let's see. Amaterios! Uh, three, destroy Prime. We get some points. This one right here... I was uh, talking to Maruti, uh, Maruti, actually. A lot of these are just other points. You don't really need this. The last one is actually the Black Revive Phoenix, which I haven't been able to unlock, so let's uh, let's go to our collection. Let's go to our collection now. No, that's a leveling up. Our collection, here. So when you go over everything, I'll go over this clear dead Hades. So when you look at all the layers, we have a lot. We basically almost unlocked everything, but we're missing quite a bit, actually, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Should be, is it this one? No, bottom one's our collection, right, right. So when you look at this, we 100%ed the game. Minus missing a few drivers. The main story. Let me see what I'm missing. So we got Destroy Prime. Shit, what are we missing, actually? Let me see. Uh, we're missing some, uh, I guess some versions of variable. Is there anything else? Any frames? No. This? Nothing. We should be missing, okay, we're missing Black Revive Phoenix. And that's it. So we almost had this game complete. So what I wanna show now actually, and I will do a full sequel to this video, by the way. I wanna hit a thousand likes for this because we just beat the entire game. Look at this, where is he? Where's our Aiga? Oh yeah, the only difference is on the driver, but you can't really see that. We unlocked every single character in this game. Wow. So that's it for this video. I'm so happy we beat this game. I would, I would love, I would love, and I don't mind even buying it actually, if they do DLC with Chozetsu Valkyrie, Chozetsu Spring, and Aegis. Update the bladers, give maybe a few more challenges, and maybe, if not for this, maybe even a sequel to this. They add more of those options and a little bit more in depth, but uh, for now, have an awesome day.